Hi hey everyone, it's Rock for Cash, People's Champ, coming to you live from Cash Stadium. Welcome back to the channel. Sorry about that, I was just fucking having a look at what happened in uh, week 16. Can't fucking believe my eyes, I had to get out the fucking binoculars. Anyway, we'll go through all of that in a little bit, but before we get to that, we just want to wish everyone a happy new year. I um, hope 2022 is an absolute beauty for you all, and um, we'll just send 2021 back to the uh, shithole it crawled out of. Uh, but before we get on to what's um, what happened in um, week 16 of the uh, FNFL, we'll a um, bit of a song playing in the background. Celebration by Cool and the Gang. Great song. Just have this playing in the background. Alrighty, let's have a look at what happened. And like I said, fuck me. Top four teams played a, a mixture of the bottom half and uh, three of the top four teams are all out. Can't believe it. First, let's start with Rock for Cash up against Little River Giants. Uh, Rock for Cash were uh, seventh. Little River Giants were second, but that didn't matter. Rock for Cash steaming his way through to the duty bowl. 122.12 beat Little River Giants 90.04. Cash was just unstoppable. Mahomes got 20. Sony Michelle got 20. Montgomery got 20. Diggs got 18. Renfro got 12. McPherson got 11. The Chiefs got 14. For Little River Giants, Herbert got 15. Devontae Adams, a great game, 28. Waddle, 20. And the Rams defense, 13. Obviously, the cash was uh, helped out quite a bit with uh, Austin Eckler and Mike Evans being left in the side. Both players didn't play. Um, not the best time for Little River Giants to take their eye off the FNFL, but you snooze, you lose their uh, little, little River Giants. So um, you can now go off to another, another bowl and uh, the cash will just keep moving forward towards uh, a duty bowl. Uh, in the next game, this is probably the shocker of the fucking season. Archie's All-Stars, who are on top at 10 and 4. Uh, Mitch's Mongrels were in 9th, 6 and 8. Mitch's Mongrels fucking beat them. 153.5, if you don't mind, against Archie's All-Stars, 130.06. God, I fear for those altar boys this week and for the rest of the season. Mitch's Mungles, Kyler Murray got 21, Mixon got 28, Harris got 13, Lamb got 10, Pittman got 12, Pitts got 13, Carter got 13, Suckup got 15, and the Cowboys got 25. I believe that's the first time this season that all nine players have been in double figures, so well done to the Mungrel. For Archie's All-Stars, um, Josh Allen got 30, Gibson got 12, Johnson got 12, Jefferson got 15, Andrew's got 22, Samuel got 23, but other than that, it was just all the mongrels all the way. Um, amazing that a team that finishes ninth can knock off a team that finishes first that was so dominant throughout the whole season. So God bless you, men, that we've uh, we've knocked Archie's All Stars out of the uh, out of the duty bowl race. In the next game, again, a top four team is out. Uh, Money Makers 10 are out. They scored 118.28. Young Remix Killers, our defending duty bowl champion, 134.14. Money Makers were fourth and Young Remix Killers were fifth. So not much of a difference there, but still another top four team out. For, for the Killers, uh, Elliot got 16. Higgins got 37. Won't ever do that again. Amon Ra, St. Brown, 21. Great name. And uh, Harris, 28. For Moneymakers, 10. Uh, Patterson got 15. Cup got 16. Berrios, great pickup off the waiver, 27. And Ronald Jones, again, another one off the waiver, 15. The Dolphins had a day out as well, 26, but it just wasn't enough. So the young remix killers are through. Moneymakers, 10. I'll be fucking spewing that they're out. They put so much time and effort into this game. Uh, to fall short here is just a uh, travesty of justice. In the final game, though, we did have one team that was in the top four that got through. The dark side uh, were third up against Team Mazza, who were 11th. Team Mazza, just the train just could not keep going anymore. There was no coal left. The dark side, 102.8 to Team Mazza, 92.24. Uh, the dark side, uh, Prescott got... 
Um, 28. Uh, hang on one sec. I've lost my computer here. Prescott got 28. Jacobs got 10. Taylor got 10. Ayuk got 13. Wilson got 13. And for uh, Team Mazza, uh, Wilson got 14. Jackson, a great pickup off the waiver, got 30. Schultz got 18. Cuckoo Kachu got 11. Um, I think this one basically was uh, Team Mazza was the one that lost this one more than the dark side winning. He lost Robinson in the first quarter, he only scored one. Tyler Lockett couldn't get going, who scored four and a half. And Tyreek Hill caught the first two catches for 2.9 and then never saw the ball again. So really, this could have been a different result. But, you know, like they say, the old Greek proverb, if my grandmother had balls, she'd be my grandfather. So it doesn't matter. The dark side are through. Well done to him. And uh, he moves on to uh, another duty bowl challenge. Uh, Team Mazza left to really ponder what was an up and down season for him. Let's be let's be honest. So that's pretty much it. Rock for Cash beat Little River Giants. Mitch's Mungles beat Archie's All Stars. Young Remus Killers beat Money Makers Ten, and the Dark Side beat Team Mazza. So, what does that mean for the league? It means that the top four sides now are Rock for Cash, the Dark Side, Mitch's Mungles, and Young Remus Killers. One of those four is going to win the Duty Bowl. One of those four. Everyone else just going to be making up numbers in other bowls. So that's pretty much a review of week 16 of the FNFL. Cash will be back shortly with his preview of week 17. Um, this is where we sort out which bowl matches people will be playing in in the last round. So with that, that's the cash out.